Hey, good morning everybody. I am Arnie and today I'm going to show you how to assemble the 212 power pack. It's uh, really pretty straightforward. Um, just a couple of little key things you need to pay attention to and you will have your power pack together in no time at all. So uh, in front of me here is all the components that you will need to physically assemble your power pack. And uh, there is some more hardware included with the kit, but we'll get to those parts later. Uh, so you'll notice that there's a couple side plates here. And there's a motor mount plate. This is the jack shaft adjuster plate. And uh, the jack shaft is an optional part, uh, but this does get assembled with the power pack uh, in the beginning here. So uh, it's very simple. So the only thing that you can mess up is you can confuse this side plate with this one and if you do that that won't be good uh, so just follow the instruction we'll try to add a little visual marker to the power pack and i'm going to put my glasses on here just so i can see what i'm doing so um you see this one here that looks like a poo bear or whatever it's got a couple little ears so this is your pto side plate okay so this is where the transmission uh, shaft comes out okay so um four bolts you will see here uh, in these four holes that go around the perimeter of the power pack. So we're just going to start. We're just going to drop these bolts into these holes. Okay, pretty straightforward so far. Okay, now that we got the bolts in that hole, you're just going to take your side plate and put it on its side like that. Okay, now we're going to drop on the four spacers that come with the kit. Now we are going to install the shifter side plate. That's got these two big windows in it. That's for access to your shifter mechanism. And we're just gonna drop this guy on nicely. And we're gonna put four nuts on here. Get those started. Okay. And what you're going to need is a 9 16 wrench and a socket. Okay, so now we're going to flip this guy back up on its thing. You see it's a little wobbly here, but it's all going to come together quite nicely very soon. So we're just going to tighten, tighten these hardware. That's all the uh, hardware in there. So once I tighten it up, I actually just like kind of like to loosen everything off and kind of make sure it's all seated. The key thing about the power pack is you just want to make sure it's all square. Okay, so we'll just back it off just a hair just in case until we get it all. Yeah, so see it's sitting on your surface. There's no shaking, no wobbling. Now we're going to just uh, put on the motor mount plate here. Now, uh, this is important to get on in the correct orientation. Uh, this window here, this is for access to your transmission uh, fill plug and stuff like that. And uh, you'll notice that the engine mount holes are also skewed to one side. So you want those holes skewed to the, to the uh, cutout uh, that looks like a, a bear. And that just keeps your engine in the right spot. Okay, so the top plate just goes on nice and simple like that. And you just want to make sure that there is no gap found on a, underneath the shift plate. So everything's sitting on there quite nicely. So with that, I'm just going to give this a little tighten here now that everything's feeling good. Okay, tighten that up, tighten that up. Tighten that up. Tighten that up. Okay, everything feels good here, nice and solid. So if you have a square, you can just take your square and you can just line it up and you can just make sure that everything is fitting nicely inside the confines of the power pack. It is designed to have a uh, 4.3, 4.03 inch 
uh, inside dimension, and uh, that is just uh, gives you just enough clearance to put it on your four inch channel. And if you want to use a three inch channel, you'll have to use a couple spacers, but yeah, so that's uh, fitting all good. So, um, that's the motor plate, and then this uh, this plate here, this uh, jack shaft adjuster plate, it just goes into the front of the assembly like so. And now uh, everything's sitting flush here, so I think we're about ready to weld it all in. So let's get the uh, welder out. Uh, put some gloves on here. Oh, I have some gloves over there, I see. Okay, no worries. Okay, so uh, we're grounded to the table, so now we're just going to put some tack welds on the underside of this motor bracket, motor mount plate. Three, four, okay? So that's all tacked on nice. See, that's for your basic power packs coming together. So again, pay attention to the uh, the teddy bear side here, and make sure that the hole is closest. The bolt holes are on that side of the plate. That's critical to getting your engine to mount properly. Now we're just going to do the the front part here, the front uh, jack shaft X bar. That's what we call it. And we're just going to put a couple little tack welds on here just to hold everything in position. Okay, that is your basic power pack. Now, uh, we're also going to add on the cut today and that's real simple as well the battery kit comes with uh, basically three pieces a strap a retainer bracket and then the tray uh, this is all for a YTX 9BS battery and you just uh, put that retainer on there you center it pretty well along the web in the tray and you just weld this uh, strap on you don't have to go crazy on the welds and then you're going to weld it into the power pack right in that position there just center it up use these two half moon cutouts here to just make sure that you're pretty well uh, evenly spaced between the side plates and just tack that on and we're going to put a coat of paint on this after that after we weld it and then you're good to go so uh, let's do that so let's let me just take some photos and we're going to weld up the power pack now. So uh, we'll just start with the power pack. We're going to run two welds right along the seams, uh, the, uh, the corner of the, the motor plate and the side plate. And Now we're just going to do the same on this side. So that's the uh, the motor plate. Now uh, I like to fill in the little tabs just at the top there, and I can grind those off a little bit later. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Just makes it look a little cleaner.
Okay, that's that for that. That's all we're loaded. Now the the front drop shaft adjuster. What we do generally is we just weld on the back sides here and the same thing, you can weld the, where the intersection is between the tag and the slot. Uh, even if you don't grind things off, it's not going to interfere with anything. It's being designed to provide that clearance. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, that's the front. We're going to do the back sides. One. Two. Head. Three. Four. Okay, that is all you need to weld the power pack. So now we're just gonna do the, the battery tray here. So like I said, we're just gonna put a couple stitch welds on the back side of this bracket just to hold it in position. And doesn't need much. One. Two. Three. Okay, so that's that. Now we just drop this guy on top here, just like so. Like I said, use these little kidney cutouts just to make sure you're approximately square on the bracket. And put a couple of back welds on just to hold it all in position. Okay. Flip her up. Ooh, fucking hot! Especially with a hole in your glove. Don't burn yourself. Maybe three welds, three little stitches. Put a couple welds. Maybe three welds, three little stitches. And there you have it. That is done. So we're going to throw some, some paint on this thing and we're going to put the transmission in next. So stay tuned.